Hi, I'm Tammy. So we're going to continue this easy drink mixer. This is so great. So this one is old fashioned and this is really great because you know with an old fashioned you have to use sugar cubes and you have to muddle you know, your orange and your cherries and then you have to do a lot of you, know, you have to strain everything and you have to try to, you know, it's really difficult to get like the perfect mixture. This is so simple and it's going to make you look like you're a really great bartender with so little effort. This is it guys, really simple. You're going to use this mixer, which again we'll have on the link. so. You'll be able to get it really simply. And you're gonna take this and you're gonna use a half an ounce of this mixer. Oh, I'm gonna put it in this glass right here. And then you're gonna use, oh, that smells so good. Then you're gonna use two ounces of, you know, whatever bourbon you desire. I'm gonna use Bullet today. Um, there's like a plethora of different bourbons here and I was kind of going through them all going which to use which to use but decided on this one so we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna use this bullet two ounces. Of course I picked the heaviest bottle and then I'm doing this because this is just how I am. You don't have to go this far but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get it really cold with this ice right here by just stirring it together. Don't even have to have a bar spoon. spoon. Yeah, don't even have to have a bar spoon. Just use a regular spoon if you don't have one. Mix it with just some regular ice. Mix it up, get it cold. And then, after you get that done, I'm going to just strain it. If I can get it back on there. There we go. I'm going to Strain this. Over a nice big round ice cube. And I'm doing this because it's going to look pretty, right? There's really no other reason. I just want it to look pretty. I'm all about looking pretty. So that's why I did it. Then I'm going to garnish it with just a orange, just a, just a piece of a orange wedge here and some dirty cherries, an orange peel, not an orange wedge, an orange peel and some dirty cherries and we have a perfect old fashioned. Cheers. perfect. I can tell you that I can muddle and muddle and try to do this perfect. It won't taste as good. This is absolutely perfect. I hope you guys try this mixer out. It's really good. It has like, it has like hints of vanilla and you can definitely taste the cherry in it and the orange. It's really good. It smells really good too. This is fantastic. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching.